I gave some questions for homework. So there is a solution for some of them. Uh, today I'll be giving the solution of yesterday's assignment. Some question I gave yesterday, so I'm going to solve them. Okay, question number four. A body of mass 5 kg is moving with a constant velocity of 5 meter per second on a horizontal surface. The coefficient of sliding friction between the body is 0 0.20. What horizontal force is needed to maintain the motion? <coughs> the force which is needed to maintain the motion will be equal to the force of friction. Applied force must be just equal to the force of friction. So, we will be writing answer for a part. F will be equal to friction force. Friction force on the is mu into mg. Mu into a, mu into mg. The value of mu is 0.2. Mass is given 5 and g value is 10. And this gives the answer 10. Second part, if the force is removed, how soon the body will come to rest? When the force is removed, that friction will bring it to the rest. That means, <coughs> friction will be equal to the retarding force. Retarding force. Friction value is 10. Retarding force formula will get a mass into retardation, m into 1. You get 10, mass is 5, and the value of r is 5 into meter per second square. Therefore, a value will become minus 2 meter per second square. And the initial velocity is given 5, u is equal to 5 meter per second. How soon will the body come? We have to find the time when it comes to this. That is, final velocity is 0. You can use the formula. V is equal to u plus kt. V is 0 because the body is stopping. U is 5. A value is minus 2 into t. So 2t is equal to 5. Therefore, t value is coming 2.5 seconds. That is the answer. This is the solution for question number 4. Now the next question is number 5. Next question is question number 5. Question 5 on page 208. If the coefficient of friction between the tire and the road is 0 0.4, what is the shortest distance in which the car can be stopped? When travelling with 36 km per hour, the <coughs> car has to come to rest. You have to find the shortest distance. That means you will write same way friction is equal to friction is equal to retarding force. Friction formula is mu mg, retarding force formula is m into r, a value is cancelled. Mu value is given in the question 0 0.4, G value is 10, retardation and retardation is 4 meter per second square. Therefore, A value is minus 4 meter per second square. And it is traveling with a speed 36 km per hour. Mu value is 36 km per hour, change in meter per second, 5 by 80, is coming to 10. 10 meter per second. <coughs> you have to find the distance before it comes to this. Shortest distance. That means v square is equal to u square plus 2as. v is 0 because we are bringing it to rest. u is 10. 10 square. 2 into minus 4 into s. Minus 8s will come to set 8s is equal to 100. Therefore, s value is 100 by 8. 4 to the 425. 12.5 meter. That means the distance travelled by the car is 12.5 meter before it comes to west. That is the answer. 
Now the next question is six. Seven. Next question is question number seven. Question number seven of page two zero nine. Page two zero nine. So I read the question. Question says that two fifty kg sledge is pulled at a constant speed over a sheet of ice by a rope. That makes an angle of 60 degree with the horizontal. If the coefficient of friction is 1 by root 3, find the force required. Withdraw diagram. There is a horizontal surface. This is the sheet of ice, and we are having a sledge over here, which is being pulled. Mass of this is given to 15. This is pulled by a rope by a kind of force making an angle 60 degree with the horizontal. This is 60 degree. So we break. This will be mg down. Normal is going to be acting up. This is f cos 60. F sin 60. Friction is acting like this.
as it takes to slide down a perfectly smooth 45 degree incline. What is the coefficient of kinetic friction? So I explain to you the question. The question says there is an incline plane which is rough, and we have another incline plane which is smooth. There are two cases. In the rough uh, incline plane, there will be friction. The body will move slowly. In the smooth surface, the body will move faster because the friction is zero. So that is in the first case it will take longer time than the second case. Now question says in the first case it takes n times longer time than the second case. You have to find the value of mu in terms of n. So I draw a diagram and then we work this out. We are having an incline plane making an angle of 45 degrees. 45 degrees. This is first case you can write a rough. Rough plane. We are having a body here. Out here, definitely the body will take longer time to slide down. So we check. Ng is acting here as usual. Ng the angle is 45 degrees. Ng cos 45. Here we get Ng sin 45. Normal action is acting here. Then the body is sliding down in this direction, the friction will act like this. Friction force will be acting in the another direction here. So we will find acceleration, acceleration in this one. The acceleration how will we find because this is sliding on this has to be bigger than this. Let us write here mg sin 45 minus friction is equal to mk. This is case for power. And that acceleration is a1. Here at mg sin 45 I keep just now as it is minus friction. Friction formula here mu into n n values mg cos 45 mk1. mg is common. Here we get sin 45 minus mu cos 45. M A1, A1 will cancel. Therefore, A1 value will become there is G bracket sin 45 minus B cos 45 as equation number 1. And now we draw another diagram. Second case, smooth. Smooth plane method without friction. Now we put the value T1. What is the value of T1? First case. 
tan in this is n times more. Suppose so, what here the timing is one second and here the timing is n second. The ratio this will become n by one. n by one square. I put the value of a to the value of a to this much. G sine 45. And the value of a one is this. G bracket. Sine 45 minus v cos 45. G and G cancel. Now we are continuing here. This will be n square. Here we are having sine 45 by sine 45 minus mu cos 45. Now we are doing cross multiplication. This will be n square sine 45 minus n square mean cos 45 is equal to sine r. I will keep sine square thing equals n square sine 45 minus sine 45 is equal to n square mean cos 45. Sine 45 is common. Here we get n square minus 1. Mu and write it n square cos 45. Sine 45 and cos 45 are green, we don't. We will become tan 45. This n square minus 1 by n square will come down as the value of mu. Tan 45 is 1. Here you can separate it from, separate from 1 minus 1 by n square. Is the value of mu. The value of mu is telling <coughs> 1 minus 1 by u square is the value of mu. That is the answer given in the book also. That is the solution. And this question was slightly difficult and it may carry 5 marks. Now we have another question that is question number 15. <coughs> question says a body of mass n equal to 2 kg is placed on a horizontal <coughs> rough horizontal table is connected to a light string passing over a pulley to a hanging body of mass n equal to 1 kg. The coefficient of friction between n and table is 0 0.6 and g value 9.8. Find the force of friction, second part tension and the acceleration. <coughs> there is no diagram for it. There is a body of mass 2 kg placed on a horizontal surface, uh, horizontal table. There is a table out here. There is a body of mass n equal to 2 kg. This one is connected to a light string. Light string is a string that we have. Where you can draw a figure for it like this, and there is a hanging mass capital N 1 k. <coughs> Coefficient of friction between this mass and the table is given 0 0.6 and g value 9.8. You have to find the force of friction. Let us see. This hanging mass will have the in g value at it now that is 1 into 9.8, the answer is 9.8 newton. This body will be having tendency to go down, whereas friction will act in which direction friction. Let us assume that the <coughs> motion is taking place, that the acceleration is there in the body. Let us write on the equation of the acceleration. How do you write that? 9.8 minus friction is causing, causing motion in both the block, that is a plus m into a. 9.8 friction formula is mu into m normal action. This is mg down. Normally, this is acting on mu into mg. We write directly here small mg. m plus m, 2 plus 1, that means 3a. 9.8 minus mu value is given 0 0.6. Small n is given 2. g value is 9.8, 3a. 9.8 minus mu to the calculation here. 
zero point six into two is coming one point two into nine point eight. One point two into nine point eight. It's coming eleven point eight six. Answer is going to come negative here, which is not possible. That is the body doesn't move. The answer is coming something negative. Right? Therefore, at a, therefore, a equal to zero as a cannot be negative. Cannot be negative. What does it mean when a is zero? That means that the body is at rest. The body is not moving at all. Therefore, force of friction now. First part will answer now. Therefore, force of friction. Force of friction. Will be equal to what? Will refer to the first statement now. Acceleration to be become zero. These two values must be equal. This is nine point eight. This has to be same value. That means friction force is nine point eight. Second part tension. Tension in the rope or string. Tension will mark at this T here, or you can mark it here. Since the body doesn't move, we like T equal to mg, or we can write T is equal to f, all the same. So any one will be equal. So T value will come as nine point eight. Right? That means T equal to nine point eight. And the third part C acceleration. Acceleration. Acceleration A is zero. We already know. A cannot come negative. Whenever A comes negative, make it zero. That means the body system doesn't move only. The body does not. Move. And friction value will be equal to the rate of the first time. That is answer. Okay. <coughs> These are the solution for the question which I gave yesterday. These were the important facts. So we are done till here today. Next day we'll be starting new chapter. What power energy?